All right, all right, all right. It is that time again. So welcome back. And before we go any further, to all my regular viewers, listeners, and watchers. And of course, if you happen to be here for the very first time, welcome. So before I go any further, my name is Ramli George, India's premier self-hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So as I was preparing my notes for today's uh, live, for today's pod, a um, couple of very interesting um, occurrences, uh, interesting developments have already happened uh, between me looking at the clock, knowing that, okay, it's closer now to the end of day. Because at present, I usually am inspired to uh, record my pod at the end of day. And uh, even though, you know, there have been several times when I've, uh, quote unquote, tried to uh, record the pod uh, earlier in the day, somehow this time seems to suit or work for me. Um, maybe this is my creative zone, who knows what, but uh, over the last, I think now we began in November, this whole uh, uh, endeavor to, to record daily content. And now we are already in August, so we're close to about a year now, officially, since we began. And uh, definitely since the beginning of this year at the time of recording, obviously I'm dating this. Um, at, if you're, I mean, you're listening to this right now, so we're talking about month of month of uh, August, and I began daily uh, lives daily, which turned into pods since the beginning of Jan. So it's uh, closer to about seven, going on eight months. And um, what's interesting is that even as I was preparing, uh, and I was keeping myself open to receiving the, the idea of, of what is today's topic. Uh, I, I was in a program earlier today, and uh, while I was there doing the process work, uh, this idea just came into my head. It was literally like a nudge. Of course, uh, to put this into context, you know, I've been wanting to build out a membership where we can go deeper into learning self-hypnosis. As you know, uh, when I say I'm India's premier self-hypnosis coach, I take what I say very, very seriously. When I say seriously, with a light hand, but with a uh, very clear intent to be able to teach people self-hypnosis. So for a while, I've been allowing for uh, what is this membership going to be, where people can really go deep and learn and deepen their practice of self-hypnosis. So this idea came to me. And of course, long story short, get to the other end of the story, where um, when I was thinking of, hmm, what is today's topic for the pod? And the words that came were inspired nudges, right? So if you are uh, anything like me, a digital coach, then you know that inspired nudges are something that we quite often uh, crave for, we wish for, we want in our lives. And uh, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, a lot of times, depending on where we are on our journey, um, it's like a writer having writer's block, um, feeling inspired and receiving inspired nudges can feel like, a, like lifting a, a, a mountain. However, uh, the more you start to do your own inner work, your, you, you're willing to go on this inner journey, you will start to notice that there are these, what I call inspired nudges, which means it's almost like a whisper. It's almost like you hear your own inner voice. For some of us, you see it for me and people like me, uh, you'll probably hear it. Uh, some people just feel it. It's like you get this feeling in in one part of your body where you know there's something that's that's um, coming to you, and then of course it shows itself, or it you hear it 
that, oh yeah, you know what? Let me do this, whatever that is, right? Uh, that may be in the context of building out a program, creating a product, whatever it be, right? Or making yourself available for a really important client, right? So in this area of being willing to be open and stay open to new ideas, uh, inspired nudges is definitely uh, something that um, you will receive. And during the course of this work that you're doing as a digital coach, you will definitely come across this. So, you know, if you've been looking for that answer as that reminder that you really want to be in that state of flow, be in that state of openness and receiving, or what they call receivership, um, then just remember that you're asking for the right thing. Because uh, like some, so there's this, um, I mentioned this the other day and I'll mention it again today. Uh, there's a very famous uh, author called Stephen Pressfield who wrote about the war of art. And one of the things that he talks about, and I'm roughly paraphrasing, uh, where he talks about, you know, where literally every day he shows up at his table and his typewriter and something just happens to him. And then he's kind of in this receiving mode right? and he just types and he types and he types and he keeps typing until he stops. And then that's it. He's done for the day. And like this, when he's in the process of writing a book, he just, you know, shows up and just stays in that uh, zone or that mode of receiving. And that's where the magic happens. Now, obviously, as a digital coach, meaning you're a coach that is taking advantage of uh, the digital world that we live in today, uh, not only in the context of AI and, you know, being able to literally have like a really uh, high priced uh, associate for a very low price uh, as it stands today, whether you're doing a, you know, whether you are using uh, AI software, whether you're using chat GPT, BARD, like these are some of the options that are available today as on uh, this moment of recording the board. Um, what's important is that you, something in you has, has told you that it's time to go online. And you've probably already been on this journey, especially post-COVID, where you've, at one stage, probably you were bombarded with webinar after webinar after webinar. And a lot of it was happening digitally, especially during, obviously, during COVID. And even post that, uh, you're at a point where a you are consuming a lot. You obviously spend a lot of time and effort and money and intention to build your business, right? And so... You invest in tools and technology and in mentors to be able to learn digital marketing, to be able to learn uh, sales techniques, right? So these are things that you've already studied. You've tried different ways of marketing to people. But somehow, if you are anything like me, uh, you notice that beyond a point, it doesn't, uh, it, or let me put it this way, ha it hasn't worked for you in the way you had hoped so maybe there were people that joined or maybe you were part of batches or in communities where people joined and a lot of them have moved ahead. Some of them have moved ahead, but somehow for you, it's that case of mirror number kabaika, meaning it's not working, it's not happening. And obviously it can be very frustrating. It can be very perplexing, confusing, like, okay, what is it that I'm not doing? What am I not understanding? Uh, that's keeping me stuck. And if you're right now in that state or space of stuckness, I can tell you there's one part that, that where it could be missing, which is more in your own state of openness, right? So the antithesis is, uh, what if you allowed yourself the, and what if you acknowledge that yes, you do receive these nudges, right? You do, um, get these inspired nudges, these, these sort of like whispers of do this, and it may be going against the, the template that you bought, right? Because I, in my time also, over, like I began in 2016, so it's been several years, I have invested in a lot of programs, I've invested in a lot of um, uh, 
marketing plans. Um, but if for some reason that's not work for you, and there's something that's kind of keeping you from doing it the way you've been prescribed, then there is another way to do this, which is what if you turned inward? What if you allowed yourself to listen more um, effortlessly? Uh, it's like listen more intently than intensely. I'll say it again. Listen more intently, that means with intention, rather than uh, intensely, meaning literally like where you're getting tense. You know, like, okay, what am I, why am I missing? What am I, what am I supposed to do? What's the next step? What's the next step? Instead, if you just allow, you will start to find the right people. In fact, the right people will start to find you. The right opportunities will start to show up. And again, don't just take my word for it. Uh, that's the reason also why, as I've been on this journey now for, for actually 21 years at this point, uh, one of the things that started to show up was that for me, you know, self-hypnosis, hypnosis, as well as hypnotherapy, like these are the three areas um, that really started to connect with me for me on my personal journey. And as I started to work it, I started to notice that there is a way to help fellow coaches, digital coaches, to be able to go deeper, to be able to connect within themselves and have that courage, have that belief in inspired moments, right? Because here's the thing, when you are truly inspired by your business, when you feel inspired, uh, you'll you'll start to take inspired action. And today was a classic example of that. It just was an idea that came to me. And in, in a matter of minutes, uh, and, and again, this is just as an example, right? Obviously, I've been nurturing my, my audience, people who are part of my existing membership. And so when I created the next level of membership, three people already bought in a span of a few minutes, right? Uh, now, I haven't checked my phone yet. Maybe there are more who will come now, who will come later. But what's more important is that it came because I was open to ideas, because I was doing my inner work. And now, more than ever before, I've been doing more of my inner work, daily meditation, um, you know, practice of hypnosis, self-hypnosis. So these are things that I know that truly do make that difference in my own perception, my own openness to more of me, right? So I can only say this, that even the greats, whether it is the, the swamis of, of, you know, ancient India or uh, some of the greatest uh, technologists, whether you take, you know, whether it's Steam Jobs or any of these folks, I know because I've been studying them now for some time, they all have had this knowing that when you start to practice inward, when you start to focus on your own inner beingness, you will start to stay open to these hunches, to these ideas, to these uh, inspired uh, moments. And whether you call it gut feeling, whether you call it you know, seeing the signs, it doesn't really matter. But it's like when you have that sudden, sudden like a flash or a hunch, because you're staying open and you're practicing openness with yourself on a daily basis, you'll quickly catch it. You know, it's like the classic uh, Eureka moment, right? You're working on something and you're getting stuck and you say, okay, I really need to go to the loop, you go to the loop and suddenly you get an idea, right? Or maybe it's that time of the day, you're having a bath and suddenly you have this flash. Now, a lot of times we tend to disregard those flashes simply because uh, we're too stressed, we're too tired, uh, we don't believe because obviously, you know, setting up your business, trying to run your business is hard work. Leave alone doing the actual coaching work, right? Whether you're a, a coach who focuses on any of the five streams, right? What are the five streams? Health, health meaning health, wellness, fitness, or even if it is wealth, which means wealth, which means investing, which means um, you know, money, uh, money mindset, right? So the, the mindset part of wealth doesn't matter, right? So health, wealth, relationships. Um, and then, of course, there's um, um, 
spirituality which you know is is its own ocean and then of course your purpose right your reason to be so you could be a coach who's focusing on any of these five areas but what's important is that when you're willing to be open and you're willing to allow yourself to open up in these areas just by starting this practice of being and going inward and and staying and you know being in that stillness over a period of time you will notice that i don't know if you can hear the dog barking or not i guess we'll know in the recording but what's important is that over a period of time you will find yourself opening yourself up to these nudges so today's pod just remember it's all about this right if you have been struggling with trying to figure out okay how do i use all this information that i have invested in these programs that i have attended the missing piece quite often is is insight right for those of you who are not watching this on video and you're listening to this as an as an as an audio pod i'm literally pointing to myself saying it's insight that's right? inside you so the more you get into this habit of being open to this you will start to notice that you're getting ideas okay so just again as always it's a reminder that if you are in this state of mera number kab aayega one of course i have created a very simple uh, way for you to actually understand okay um how can i start that process of mera number kab aayega and go to a space of life jingalala which basically means that it to principally is there a way for self hypnosis to open that door away from me right that's the intention so uh, just a reminder on saturday on sunday it used to be on saturday on sunday at 11 am i do this workshop it's called mera number ka baika as a way for you to open yourself up to possibilities to receiving new ways to literally maximize your market value which means that when you truly believe in what you're doing and you you come from an inspired space and you're in an inspired space you'll find that people who are looking for what you have to offer and quite often people especially digital coaches who are on their journey they are also looking to be inspired so if you are that source of inspiration they will come to you right so that is the premise that is the promise that you come and you can learn how self hypnosis can truly make that difference for you and of course if you feel that this connects with you then the next step is for you to be able to get into a very very simple yet powerful four week process it's called the trial membership so that you can learn self hypnosis and once you start on this process if you feel this is right for you then there is a journey forward all right so with that i want to thank you once again for those of you who've been listening all the way to this point uh remember your keyword today is this point which means i'll know that you have been watching inside the live or you watch this later as a recording and goes without saying if you have been watching this on youtube as a podcast please do like and subscribe because it feeds the algorithm which means more people can benefit from this right because basically uh, the algorithm knows that this is of value to um to to viewers watchers listeners of youtube all right especially the podcast so with that i want to thank you once again and of course uh do share this with uh, other um, digital coaches who like you have are on this journey and are asking this question literally mera number kab aayega who knows this could just be that one missing piece on their journey as well all right so with that i want to thank you once again and uh, this is as you know this is a regular pod at the time of recording this is a daily uh, recording that's done on facebook so that's one way for you to find this and of course if you want to be part of our community uh, you can join the community is called self hypnosis mastermind you can find us on facebook so I look forward to seeing you in any one of these um, platforms and of course if last but not the least if you want to reach out and you have a question if there's any way that i can help you i'd be more than happy to right so with that i want to i want to wrap today and we will be back for another one and remember as always to live with purpose see you in the next one take care bye bye god bless bye